you know, of his senior year. He just showed up there for fall camp and, and picked up the system really fast. And I think that uh, that's just a tribute to him. He's a bright kid, and uh, he, he really is a competitor. And that's probably the most uh, the thing that sticks out about, about Baker is how much he loves to compete. On August 30th, just seven weeks after arriving on campus, Baker Mayfield became the first true freshman walk-on quarterback in history to start a season opener at a BCS conference school. That day, he threw for 413 yards and four touchdowns while running for another. Texas Tech beat SMU 41-23. It surprised James and I. When you watch it and you know, you know those certain things, but you see it happening, it really is surreal. I mean, I, we've had to step back and pinch ourselves like, this is really happening. I think the confidence for, for a young guy he doesn't seem to get rattled much. Um, he, he's, if he makes a bad play, he's right back in it. If he makes a good play, he, you know, he's just on to the next one. Mayfield hails from Lake Travis High School in Austin, Texas, where he led the Cavaliers to a state title his junior year. Lake Travis struggled a bit during Mayfield's senior season, posting a 9-2 record. And once his dream school, TCU, opted for another quarterback, Mayfield was suddenly left without many options. And I've got some great friends on the TCU staff. I thought they were going to offer him. They ended up calling and saying, hey, we're going to go. We're going to have to make the decision to go with this other kid. You know, that was tough for Baker and that was tough for us. It was terrible. It was absolutely sometimes insulting. It was hurtful for him, but um, uh, we, we, Gina did a better job in terms of keep, keeping me informed of who, who the schools were looking at. And Bake had gone to some camps, uh, passing camps, and actually had seen some of these kids and competed side by side, so he, he was not intimidated at all. Uh, he felt like he matched up, or at least in his eyes, he, he was superior. So there was no, uh, no issue of striking his confidence on the matchups to these kids. But in terms of, of not seeing coaches or not hearing from coaches, uh, it was most hurtful for him. Trying to tell a kid that young, you need to wait, it'll all work out. And he's telling us we don't understand the recruiting situation, all that, and we begin to see um, that he was just going to have to wait longer. And so that's what I mean. It caused a few, a few tears along the way. Mayfield chose to walk on at Texas Tech, where his former high school teammate Michael Brewer was the starting quarterback. A few months later, Brewer injured his back, and Tech was left with two true freshman quarterbacks. Um, when we learned that Michael was hurt, um, we thought, we knew Baker, I know him, he's just going to get in there and work just ten times harder than the next person, but no, this was not on the radar. He called us, I mean, all, all he wanted to do this year was beat out the third string quarterback. After beating out fellow freshman quarterback Davis Webb, Mayfield started the first five games for the Red Raiders. And although a knee injury kept him out of the game against Iowa State, he has amassed almost 1,500 yards and eight touchdowns in a season where he was not expecting to play at all. Yeah, at the beginning we were, didn't know who this kid was, but I think everybody in the country knows who he is now, so he's making a good name for himself.